Hello, today is going to be a product review video. So this is our um, repair tray. This is made of one piece aluminum. Okay. And so what's going to come with this tray is that you, because it's a metal, uh, it's a metal and hence it's conductive to electricity, which is great because this itself is a great uh, ESD sink. It can ground you when you touch it. And on top of that, we're gonna give you this one of this grounding wire. So how you use it is to, you want to use this uh, alligator clip to clip on one side of the cyber dock repair tray. Then you wanna plug in the other side of the wire. It's gonna be a connector. To any kind of the um, indoor house outlet, you can get an extension cable. As long as you have the three prong, um, you have the three prong plug. This will plug to the house uh, outlet, which has this. You know, you know how it is. It's the alternate current. So one, two. It had a power uh, current coming through, and this is the grounding wire that goes to the house's ground. As long as your house is relatively newer and the power plug has a grounding unit connected to a ground source, like underneath the house, then this will work. So you plug into one of these outlets for extension purpose or directly to the wall outlet. And this is clipped. So now I'm gonna test um I'm gonna test in that this is on. And the way for you to test, well, you don't really need to test, but I'm just gonna show you how this works. Um so you have a con one connection, so when you touch this surface. It go electro well, electrostatic discharge goes to from here to this wire and goes to the extension cable. Blah blah blah, and then you can find out that there is a ohm measurement. That means there is a uh, complete circuit from where I'm touching this pen here, this repair tray, to the house ground wire, which is what you want. So what happened? is that every time you do your repair on here, automatically everything is grounded nicely and you don't need to worry about electrostatic discharge. And even if you're not doing repair on this type of duct tray, you can simply just touch your hand on it and it will electrically discharge you because all this is connected to your house ground wire. And this is perfectly safe because this plug can only go in the ground wire plug. The ground plug, so you don't need to worry about you know shocking yourself with electricity or anything, because it's only fitting one, and the ground wire has no electricity. It just go down to the house. Okay, and so when you do repairs here, you can touch here. Like let's say you're doing a desktop repair and it's pretty big, so you just touch your hand here, and then that that way you are statically discharged. Or you can even get one of those uh, wristband. What it is is really just a wire touching your wrist, and then it has an alligator clip. You can clip it to here, which will also, you know, go to the ground. Okay, so this is the repair tray we use. We probably use this for soldering. When you do soldering, I personally like to put a layer of uh, aluminum foil. And since aluminum foil is also conductive for electricity, so this will work out really well for ESD discharge purpose. But the way the reason I use the layer on top is because this way, when it gets all flux and all dirty everywhere, it's like greasy, um, sticky. You don't need to clean it. You just throw this out once you're done the repair, and then voila, your repair tray is clean again. Or if you're just doing simple iPhone disassembly, this is also a good way to, if you're concerned about electrostatic discharge, like when you're repairing a hard drive or an iPhone or iPad even, this is a good tray to work on. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, working on directly when you do ESD stuff and get a number foil, put on top and work for iPhone stuff. Oh, sorry, when you do logic board repair, that's what I use. Okay, thank you very much for watching. So what you've get, been getting, buying is this metallic tray, uh, repair tray from CyberDock, and this grounding wire comes with the repair kit, uh, well, comes with this tray.
Um, if this wire is not long enough, you can always extend it through a regular extension cable. You just plug it in, you can get this anyway. As long as you have a 3 prong, then you're good to go. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye.